Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh my God, big fish, big fish. Oh, no, 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 he's diving. He's diving for the concrete. He's diving for the concrete. Look at him go, look at him go. What's up guys? New spot, shows a lot of promise, but we gotta be careful because you can see these are water hyacinth plants. That's not grass. And this mud is extremely slippery, meaning that the tide is gonna wash over the spot that we're standing in. So I've got a nice little escape route, which actually just means a way up the bank where I can continue to fish when the tide comes up. But uh, no point in wasting any more time. Let's get some bait in the water before that happens. We have a very nice selection of bait today. Incredibly bloody bait, beautiful. All right, guys, that is what I'm using for bait. I'm using the head of large mullet, big circle hook in the back. That's where I like to hook them. Uh, that way, when you cast, you don't sling all the, the guts out. You want that in there as long as you can. Sometimes if my bait's a little bit more rotten, I'll hook it through the lips and I'll try to weave that around the hook itself. But that's, uh, that's what we're throwing. Bit of a challenge, but that worked out just perfectly. Probably a fish, yeah? What a run. Man, that's like an angry run. What an incredible pace that fish is putting on this bait. Man, that happened so fast. I didn't even get the uh, beginning of the run on camera. He just exploded with it. Look at him go. Usually when it's this fast and aggressive, it's a big catfish. But you never know, it could be a big gar. I mean, it, it's one of those two fish. I can't imagine it's anything else. Yeah, it's absolutely not a turtle, that's for sure. Unless I've <laughs> discovered a new species of super fast turtle. Can't tell if our, uh, what we've got in frame here. This camera is just gonna be a point and prey. Still running. Still running really fast. This is the first fish we've had in a little bit, so I don't want to blow this run. I want to give him a chance to really take the bait. I do think he's running that way, which is what I want. Man, just going and going and going. I'm gonna go ahead and set the hook on this guy. Let's check our drag real quick. He's taking every last bit of line we have. Wow, he is stripping us. This is incredible. I'm starting to think this might be a big gar. I don't, I don't like getting ahead of myself, but man, what an amazing run this has been. Starting to slow down now, so. Okay, here he goes. Okay, we're on. Whatever he is, he's on. My money would say uh, catfish, probably. Did we lose him? No, he's cutting side to side. I don't think we, I think we might've lost him, damn. I think we might've lost him, son of a gun. We did, cannot believe that. Got to be kidding me. Unless he's, oh! No, he's on, he's on. He's on, he was, he was swimming towards me faster than I was reeling. Wow. No, he's on. I still don't know what it is yet. I gotta calm down. I was so uh, excited and then angry and then uh, 
excited again that I've just got adrenaline kind of surging. I don't even know what this is yet. As I move him, he doesn't feel gigantic. I mean, he's a good fish, don't get me wrong. Small fish don't run that fast. He doesn't feel like he's, you know, in that 100 pound class or anything, so maybe catfish. Okay, as we get closer to the bank, I turn the drag down. This is when they really start to fight back and you don't want that line to snap or the hook to pull. And they're right in front of you. There he goes. Now he's starting to he's starting to try to swim back a little bit. Okay, he is he is right there. There he is. What is that? Oh, that's a good catfish. See, I knew I knew the speed of that run had to be a catfish. Oh, he's huge. That is a good fish. Man, that's a nice one. Just kind of steer him in. Beautiful. That is a big catfish. Look at that. Whew. Muscular fish, big guy. Look at the size of him. They always flex, there we go. That's just what they do, they flex away from the camp. Ugh. I had that coming. Um, I don't know where my glasses went, but beautiful fish, let's get them back. Look at that. Whew. Last thing a lot of fish will see. Get out of here, pal. I'm gonna swim off. All right, change of locations. I've come out to a really cool spot that I have been to twice. And one time I came out here, I didn't catch anything. And then later that day, I made the best catch of my life. And then the first time I came out here, I caught what was arguably the second best catch of my life right there, a huge 50 pound flathead hiding right there. So this spot is lucky, I think. Really good view on either side. Uh, the reason that we're gonna fish from up here to start instead of back down there in that landing zone is because if I start fishing from here, casting out, you guys can see there's concrete on either side. The fish will just run around it and cut us off real fast. So from here, I've got a nice long view going each direction. I can fight the fish back and forth, tire them out, then maneuver them to the landing zone. So that's the plan. All right, sliding float, mullet head. I was saying this the other day, live bait is best for flatheads, but you can always trick them into thinking it's alive by the way you present it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing it out there, try to drop it where I suspect it to be hiding. If there's one over here, I think it's gonna be hiding right there. There's a spillway and a ledge right there. And if you can drop a bait in their face or drift it past them in the current, they'll hit it and they'll hit it hard. Very precarious this. We're about 10, 15 feet up off the water. And then the water itself is 10 or 15 feet deep, so. There's something in the water right there. What is that? Something, there's a shadow. There's a shadow moving under the water. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I sure as hell can. That's a fish.
that 100% was a fish. This dark object was moving under the water. Bam, we got him. We got him. That's a, a fish has our bait, guys. That was it. Whatever that shadow was, we got it. We got to take the bait. He's traveling back upstream now. Wow. Look at that. Look at him go. I'm gonna lower my voice a little bit. We're gonna give him some time. I don't know what it was. Could have been a big gar. I think if I, the fact that I was able to see it makes me think it might have been a gar. All right, what do you say, guys? Set the hook on this, on this fish. Let's do it. Fish on. Fish on. Good fish. Oh yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh my God, big fish, big fish. Tighten the drag down on this guy. That's a big fish. Oh, no, 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 he's diving. He's diving for the concrete. He's diving for the concrete. We gotta keep him up. Oh, it's a big alligator gar. That's a good fish. Look at him right there. Oh, he's so beautiful. Look how dark he is. Wow, holy crap. Oh, see right there that's 100 pound mono territory that's why we do it this is a good fish uh, look at him he is the darkest one i've seen in a long time look at him go look at him go wow look at that look at that gorgeous animal he's so beautiful and strong oh. Now, this is the tricky bit. I gotta, oh, God, no, 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 no. <clears throat> I gotta figure out where I wanna land him. I think I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna edge around the, uh, I'm gonna edge around this ledge here. So hang on a second. I wanna put our landing gear where I can grab it from this side without going all the way around because we don't want to, uh, I don't want to have to reach my armor on there and have him possibly, you know, break the line or the rod. All right, this is the fun bit. Nope, 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 don't you do it. Don't go back there. Don't do it. He's a nice fish. All right, so the the bail, the bail is open, the, the switch is back. So we're on free spool. So if he takes off, he's not gonna pull me in. I just let him take line. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now, see, see, that's why I didn't do it from back there. Would have lost this fish immediately. Now, what I'd like is for him to swim forward because I still got a huge drop. I can't really jump down there. I would like it if he were to swim into that, pond, that um, pocket. This is urban fishing in a nutshell here. I gotta think about whether or not I wanna jump down there risk breaking an ankle you know you you see a platform but if you miss it you can stab yourself on rebar and all kinds of nasty stuff and i've done that i've done all of that and it is just not fun all right i'm gonna trust this uh monofilament and wire leader to do its job even if he touches something real quick oh, come on oh. That's why, that's why I didn't want to jump right there, guys. All right. Holy crap. Get my other arm through this backpack. He is not caught yet, by the way, guys. I mean, like, alligator guard. I can throw the hook. Pretty sure we have a good hook set on him, but you never know for sure until they're landed. Look at that. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. What a great catch. Look, he's gorgeous. I can actually, he's actually small enough to slide up here. That is one of the most beautiful fish I, I have seen in a very long time. Alligator guard, that dark olive is not something. There we go. Not something you see a lot of. Oh, well, there he goes, okay. I was gonna try to show him to the camera and he uh, he kicked out and he 
he went, but you guys got to see him up close on this camera at least. But beautiful fish. There he is. Look at him. He just came up over there to get some air. He'll probably sit in some pocket for a minute actually to recover. But, uh, all right, guys, that will do it for us today. Pretty good day of fishing and a really fantastic catch. I love doing things like that. An opportunity like that arises and you get to see a spectacular animal in a very strange place. So yeah, great day on the water. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell, all that good stuff. Make sure you hit that bell. A lot of people tell me after they subscribe, they don't get all the videos. It's because you got to hit that bell. Check out the link in the description for the Patreon page. If you want to support us on Patreon, know where I'm fishing the majority of my spots. You'll see there's different options on Patreon to support us and get a lot of great stuff in return. Check out these guys, Waterland Fishing Optics. These sunglasses made today's catch happen. Check out the link in the description and use my code WILDLIFE to save 15% off when you check out. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see more of. More is coming. Stay tuned and until it's here, I will see you guys later. In the meantime, check out some of these videos because we catch some fantastic fish, including in this one, a massive 50 plus pound flathead right here and it very nearly took me down with it.